hi, welcome. Today I have one of the most beautiful guitars I've ever held in my hands. This is an Epiphone Emperor Thin Line from 81. Um, so for those who don't know, the Emperor Epiphone series came out in the 30s, I think, like mid 30s, um, as a response to Gibson's Super 400. So they've been around forever um, and they looked a lot different then. Um, <laughs> so they've been through several iterations, but these ones for the, from the 80s are um, particularly sought after because uh, they were made in the Matsumoko factory, or by Matsumoko anyway, um, in Japan. Um, and he's probably one of the best guitar builders that ever existed and one of my favourites of all time. Um, and honestly, they're easily as good as a Gibson, if not ten times as good, I'd say. Um, they're comparable a bit to the sort of LS6 Gibson models, if you know those. Um, so you'll see it does have some heft to it. It's a proper jazz guitar, even though it's hollow body. Um, see at the bottom, it's got this wonderful uh, kind of bridge thing here. It's got your four controls here, uh, one volume, one tone for each pickup, uh, two humbuckers here. It's got this amazing flame pit guard. It looks like lava to me. That's the only way I can describe it. It's got a kind of 3D effect almost. Um, I love this around the um, pickup selector as well. This is just like a rubber poker chip here. Uh, Multi-piece binding over here all the way along. Um, flip over to the back. Oh, it's just a really nice wooden top here. You can see here. I like the way the sort of binding ends over here. And then this multi-piece neck over here. Lovely shape to the headstock tuners there. And yeah, this wonderful inlay on the front of the neck there and the headstock. And this particular one, honestly, it just doesn't really have that much wrong with it. It's got a few tiny blemishes and a, a bit of micro scratching around it. Uh, but it's easily a 9 out of 10. And considering how old these are, how sought after, it's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, what else to say? I like the inlays as well, a mixture of Mother of Pearl and Moonstone, and Moonstone, honestly, I'm doing really too much fantasy games. Mother of Pearl and Abalone um, on the neck, I really love as well. Cool, let's hear how it sounds. So I'm going to start just by playing you one of my songs. I've just got it with everything on, middle position, going through a Fender Princeton Reverb reissue amp. Oh, there ain't no telling, babe, when I 
got heaps of tons of money, you got it all. Just waiting in some back room until we all love a cause. The bars open late and daylight still streams through the door. You look up from your plate and you see what your fate has in store. Be high, be happy, and be free, and be whole, and be carefree, be crazy. Struck and be kind, and be cruel, and then meet me there again along the road. Oh, yes, meet me there again along the road, along the road, along the road. Oh, yeah, meet you there again along the road. Oh, you find it on top of swimming at the bus stop. Sometimes, well, let's go for some other sounds. This is the neck. This is the bridge. sound, very clean sound, um, there's not really any fret buzzing, I say, as I take the string out of the saddle, last words there. it's a jazz guitar, it's better at doing kind of smooth chords. That's kind of what it's for. I mean the neck, I mean the bridge roller. but it's not really what it's designed for. Even the neck has quite a soft, mellow sound, which you'd expect. I mean, yeah, 
It's a hollow body. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's this. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye. Bye.